What makes things work, remember I said, is God. It's not your knowledge. It's not your wisdom. It's not your connection. It's not your intelligence. It's not your wealth. It's God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God wants to show us things. He wants to really show us things. He's not a wicked father. But when we are too wise, when we are too, you know, we are too logical, he can't. Not that he doesn't, but he can't. Now, there's a difference between not being willing and not being able. When one is not able to, that means you don't have the ability. When one um, wouldn't do something, it means he has the ability but he doesn't want to do it. In God's case, he wants to do it for us. He wants to show us he didn't. But what becomes an inability for him to do this in is whereby he finds a man too wise in himself. Too full of his knowledge. And that's why prayers don't work. That's why fastings are useless. That is why everything that you are now doing, it becomes as if you become so frustrated and you just be like, God, but I've been praying to you. God, I have been asking for you, you know, to, for you to intervene in this aspect, to help me in this, to settle this, to settle that. But why is it not working? And people become so desperate whereby they think this thing is a scam. God is not a scam. God is not a liar. The Bible says God is not a liar. Everything he says is true. But why it looks as if what God is saying to you is not working is because there is too much logic, too much human wisdom involved. I don't know how best to put this, but just be a child. As you go back to your secret place, just be a child. As you seek God, just be a child. As you wait on the Lord, just be a child. 